Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss how to plot the output of a single phase full wave controller. In the last session, I discussed about the working of single phase uh, full wave con uh, full, full wave controller. So now let's understand the plotting of single phase full wave controller. In that plotting, you have to set the parameters. Okay, later you have to set the input waveform. Uh, then uh, later you are supposed to like uh, plot both the positive half cycle and negative half cycle with respect to the delay angle. Uh, later you are supposed to plot the output waveform. These are the major steps which are involved in this particular uh, program. So I'll be showing you the steps for your information. Now you can check the basic algorithm, setting of parameters such as peak value, frequency, the delay angle, the time period, angular frequency. Okay, those things you can set. Later, you are supposed to put the input voltage. Okay, so it, it will be a sine wave. So you have to give the parameters of input voltage. Then output voltage you are supposed to calculate. Okay, uh, with respect to delay angle for positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle. Uh, ultimately, you can use the plot command using the plot. Okay, you can use the, you can, if you want, you can use the subplotting. Those parameters you can make out. So these are the basic things you are supposed to take care uh, while doing the MATLAB code. Based upon this particular algorithm, uh, I, have de I have developed a program that I am going to share with you. So now let's directly go to MATLAB. So I'm going to check the MATLAB window. Okay. Yeah. So we have MATLAB. So let me go to editor file. You can type edit. Okay. EDIT. Then press enter key. Editor window has been appeared. Later you can uh, save the a file okay you can uh, save the file okay uh, just a moment now you just wanted to uh, type the program yes here the program is divided into different segment as you can observe so first of all what you can do is uh, check the parameters what are the parameters which are available before that you have to clear the screen clear the previous variable, close all the previous window, set the parameters. So peak value 325, frequency 50, alpha uh, 60, then uh, capital T is time period. That is a, like a reciprocal of a frequency, one by small letter f. Small letter f is, f is already defined. Then you can, omega you can calculate, 2 pi f. Okay, 2 star, 5 star, f star is an operator. Uh, now I have to define the time. Time vector for two scales like a zero, two t, thousand. Okay, this is actually the duration I am going to define. So these are the basic things you need to make out. Later, you need to convert the firing angle into radian because in MATLAB you need to degree won't be accepted. You need to use the radian. Okay, so using this formula, I created a formula. So how to convert uh, like a, the degree into radian? You should know pi by one eighty. You have to multiply with the pi by one eighty. Here I am using star and uh, like. A, yeah, uh, like a division, division operator. Okay. Now, I, later I, what I'm supposed to do is I need to define the input voltage. V is equal to Vm sin omega t, right? So, source voltage. V is equal to Vm star sin omega star t. Uh, then, uh, output voltage initialization should be done. Like, uh, so, you, first of all, you have to initialize the output waveform. Correct. V naught is the variable which I have chosen. Then, uh, zeros, one, length of t. Okay. Uh, later, what I'm supposed to do is I need to maintain like a positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle. So let me start with the variable that will be starting from i is equal to 1 till the length, overall length. Uh, then I'm going to put the two conditions. So first condition is if like a uh, mode less of the mode t i, then uh, the time period is less than t by 2, then it is positive half cycle. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to define the positive half cycle. So in that opposite side, if I go for this particular condition, then it is actually negative half cycle for the negative half cycle. So I'm here I'm going to use if else condition. So wherever inside the for loop, I'll be using the conditional statements. That's what exactly observed here. Okay, so ultimately what you're supposed to do is I'm able to uh, print both positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle. So once the parameter is set input, and uh, delay angle, everything is set, you can start plotting. So here you need to use the command called the figure. So here you have to use the subplotting. Okay, subplotting has to be done. Uh, now select the variable. Okay, x comma plot x uh, t. X axis, x parameter means t comma vs. Then uh, the line width you can provide. Title can be given, x label and y label can be given. Then grid also can be on. Therefore, you will be getting a real graph. 
Similarly, I'll, I'll be going for subplot, second subplot. Okay, here output I'll be plotting. In the second plot, V0 means output. Vs is the input. First subplot, I am plotting input, where in the second subplot, I am plotting output. Okay, then labeling, title, grid, everything will be activated. Then, uh, like uh, the title, overall title, I'll be giving like this. Okay, yeah. Legend also can be given. So, these are the basic things. So, let me save the program. So, I have saved the, pro I have saved the program. So, uh, I want to save the program uh, like uh, uh, in my drive. Okay. So, I would like to save. You have to save accordingly. Okay. So, let me give it as program. Program one. Okay. I have saved already. Later, let me run the program. So, provide add to path. Now, let's see the plotting. Yes, of course. We have the plotting. So, you can check it up. Yeah, this is our plotting. Okay. So, we have like the input voltage. Input voltage waveform. We have positive half cycle and the negative half cycle. Now, we already defined the firing angle. So, the device will on. Uh, at firing angle till here, alpha. Okay. So that is actually happening up to this particular point. So later, uh, the firing angle that is pi plus alpha. This is this may be pi plus alpha, right? Pi plus alpha. Okay. So this is actually happening during negative half cycle. Here, T1 will be activated, I register 1, and here, T2 will be activated. This is what exactly uh, like the waveform uh, will appear in the MATLAB. If you want, you can read the waveform, you can save the output to voltage. Okay, so further operation can be done. This is the way how to do the programming on a single phase full wave uh, controller, single phase full wave controller. Okay, so one of the application, light dimmer. Okay, any queries you can ask with me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.